Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Alex and this video is going to be short and sweet because we take a quick look at Spring AI, which is one of the newer Spring projects. As of this video, we can use an early snapshot version that is providing a unified interface for OpenAI. So that means we can use ChatGPT in our code. So let's jump right in. Let's code. Okay, so the first thing that we will need is an API key. So I'm here in my OpenAI account and then you can go to personal and then view API keys and then you can create a new secret key. You can see I've created one earlier here already that I'm gonna use. So going into the IDE, let's take a look at the dependencies. Um, it's the default spring boot 3.1.3 and two dependencies. Um, first one is the spring AI, open AI spring boot starter, um, the snapshot version. And that also means I have to bring in the snapshot maven repository i do this here and then i'm using spring boot starter web because here's what we're going to build we will create an endpoint that is generating websites on the fly it sounds like a lot but it's not that much code actually so let's pull it off so i'm going to the secrets here you can see this is my actual open ai api key this is the property name that i have to use i added it here i made it optional in the application property so i don't check in accidentally my uh, secret key and let's go to the app actually. So we define a controller and let's call this um, website controller. This is gonna be a REST controller and it requires the AI. And this is the AI client. And we're gonna use that in a get mapping. And the endpoint is websites and then topic. Because here's the thing, I want to generate websites dynamically based on a given topic. And this produces um, media type. Where is it? Media type. And then it's text HTML value. Fun website. And then we need the path variable. Is that correct? No, it's not quite correct. So that's uppercase P. Import this. Returns a string. And yeah, let's make this a little bit longer. So we want to return a website for the given topic. How do we do this? Uh, let me copy over the prompt because I've done this already. Um, so this is it. So I can invoke AI generate and there's one method that expects a string. There's also one that expects a prompt and I can configure that, but I'm using the string here. Um, so you can see, um, this is the prompt, return valid HTML5 for a topic, and the topic is what we pipe into the endpoint. Single page website, make the page look visually appealing by using different colors and fonts. Also provide valid copy for the individual sections. Let's see how that goes. So I'm immediately starting that application. And by the way, this is all the code we're gonna write for this tutorial. So if you came for the code, you're done, but let's just see what it looks like. So the application has started. Let me go to Chrome. And then we hit HTTP localhost 8080, 8080 <laughs> website. Let's come up with a topic. Let's start with a dentist. Oh, that doesn't work. Why does it not work? Let's see, Web, the websites. Oh yeah, so you can see it's loading and it's gonna take a bit of time since everything is generated. So I cut the video here so you don't have to wait all the time. Two hours later. There we have it. Welcome to Dr. Smith Dental Clinic. Um, okay, I said it should actually provide valid copy, but this is lorem ipsum, like blind text. That's that's just all examples, but but it's still fine. It, it also, it seemingly ignored my request for more colors, which is fine. Let's try another example. Um, let's say lawyer, and uh, we wait again. So here's our lawyer website. It doesn't even have a title, so I think the prompt has some room for improvement. So if you're a prompt engineer, just comment down below what we can change. But I think it's a pretty neat example. So I'm curious to hear what other ideas you can come up with. I think the project is definitely worth keeping an eye on. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.